Okay, this is just a quick video on how to save the settings for Orbitron. First of all, uh, to get Orbitron to work correctly for you, you really need to give it your location on Earth. So to do that, you go to the location tab at the bottom of the program. Give it a name. In this case, I've called myself Craig Hamilton. Don't have to do this, but you could put in here home, or I put in my call sign, my ham radio call sign. Below here, in the longitude box, type in your longitude. Now, you can do this in um, degrees decimals, or if you wish, degrees uh, minutes and seconds. I think by default it might be degrees, minutes and seconds, I'm not sure. But to cho choose which one you want, click on the tools tab uh, icon, sorry. Under the uh, main tab, click on the tools icon. Under the general tab, and Latin long. I've got degrees and decimals, but you can have degrees, minutes, and seconds. Depending on uh, what format your latitude and longitude is in that you want to input to the program. Going back to the location tab, once you've uh, you've set it whether you want the program to use degrees, decimals, or degrees, minutes, and seconds, enter your longitude, for example 175.256 east, and to designate east, you just put a little e, so 175.256 and then the little letter E and over here the same for the latitude you don't have to put a minus like some programs you just type 37.777 and a little s for south here you type in your elevation above sea level here we're using about 60 meters above sea level after you have entered your uh, location details click add to list and it will be added to this list here then click choose that location will then be added to your map and used as your primary location to see whether your location is correct you can see Craig Hamilton written here on the uh, left hand side of the screen just about halfway down or just below halfway down it shows my latitude and longitude or longitude and latitude to double check that your location is right, right click anywhere on the map, select zoom, location center. You'll see there my call sign and it's put me in Hamilton, New Zealand. While we're on this uh, map, I pr prefer to have my satellite tracking program set to, um, uh, to track the active satellite. And I also use the zoom feature of 200%. When you normally get Orbitron, it's in normal mode. Like this. But I prefer 200% active satellite under zoom. Say if you want to track a different combination of satellites. To load TLEs, it's a very easy thing to do. Click on load TLE. It loads the folder where your TLE files are stored. In this case, we'll load up Amateur. I'm going to choose to track the International Space Station by putting a tick in the box beside it. And Radio Scaf B by putting a tick in the box beside it. It's a simple matter of choosing which satellite you want active. You can either click show next down here. As you can see it switches between them. Highlights the satellite in the little white icon there. Now primary satellite is Radio Scaf B and now it is uh, ISS. You can also do it by clicking on the little icon. Once you've made any changes to Orbitron, 
it's easy to save the configuration. Click at the bottom on the main tab, then click the little uh, disk symbol here for save, and the save profile window appears. Make sure you have a little radio uh, check checker uh, set to custom. Leave all of these set. Don't change these. Click save. Then just give your configuration a name. Test for example. And click enter to save. Now if you accidentally muck up your program in any way to get back to the settings that we were just playing with that we just had you click on the main tab at the bottom the little open folder which is just to the left of the save icon then you select your configuration in this case we called it test that takes us back to where we were working before with all our saved locations and satellites. On the right hand side of the program where you see the list of satellites to see information about the satellite you're currently actively tracking click data. It shows the satellites latitude and longitude, altitude, azimuth and elevation. I hope this uh, little video will be helpful and uh, send an email to zl2cwa at gmail.com if you have any queries and see if I can make another video to help you out.